Hi, uh, once again it's Cliff. Uh, this is a short supplemental video uh, to supplement the uh, original videos where we showed you how you could interact with the EDAM F15. And the reason for this short video is to explain how EDAM's CTG Analysis 2 algorithm, or more commonly known as computerized CTG analysis, actually works and how you interact with the machine during uh, the monitoring period. So if I can bring your attention to um, maternal info, we need to admit mum's gest uh, gestational age essentially. Uh, for the benefit of uh, any confusion, I always put my first name in there. But you can see there we've got a gestational age of 39 uh, weeks, four days. And we would then say, OK, I'm going to say cancel because we're monitoring at the moment. The system needs to monitor for a minimum of 10 minutes. And we'll come back to it in a few moments when it's about to show us whether the CTG is uh, acceptable and safe. And we'll get notified by the system with a, the CTG button turning green and a beep, which accompanies that. Um, if we now look at the screen, we're looking at uh, 9 minutes, 47, 48 seconds. Uh, while I'm talking about the monitoring, after 10 minutes, the system will analyse and then we should see this CTG button turn green accompanied by a beep. So we've just gone past the 10, sec 10 minutes time. There you can see the beep, hear the beep and see the green button. We now just press the print button to print the CTG and you'll see at the end of the CTG, it prints out all the, the numerics associated to the parameters it's monitored and then it prints out the interpretation <coughs> of all the parameters it's been monitoring. And if we've set that met the threshold, uh, there's a Y, and we'll see at the final um, statement at the bottom of the trace, fetal heart rate, CTG analysis thresholds reached, and there's a Y again, so both baby one and baby two.